This is our second video in the spring of 2021 about our nesting titmouses. The first video was called Nesting Titmouses Days 1 and 2, and you can find a link to it in the description to this video. The scene you're seeing there is just a little brief recap of the hollow tree section uh, that these birds built their nest in, and there's their kind of moss construction of the first couple of days of the nesting, and and a few little uh, flight still shots here. Uh, they really gave us some beautiful shots of, of flying to and from the bird box there. And in the oh, third and fourth days here, they started bringing in animal fur, uh, big packs of animal fur that they were harvesting maybe off of live foxes. We have another video about that that uh, maybe you've seen uh, called Plucking uh, a Fox. And here's another beautiful shot of uh, flying away from the box. They take off and they seem to reach top speed in about a split second so that we have to use either slow motion or stop action in order to really see what's going on with them and see the beautiful feather patterns that they have. In just a moment, we'll go back inside the box and see probably the female uh, who's bringing in more nesting materials in there and um, piling them up and we were beginning to get concerned that we were going to lose our view completely uh, from where we had put the camera here because she seemed to want some privacy. But she eventually packed it back down into uh, a proper nest. And here's another one uh, of either uh, the female or the male taking off and taking off out of there and doing the, a complete flyaway off into the distance that was really pretty. They had started building their nest on March 11 of 2021. And here she's bringing in a little more leaf material and uh, a little more moss and some greenery and, and whatnot. And by about the 19th of March, so about eight days later, uh, she started laying eggs. We think about one a day. And then here by about the 26th, about a week later, uh, she had laid six eggs. Eventually five of them hatched and one of them didn't. Uh, but uh, here she is just kind of getting down and starting to incubate the eggs. And, and she started then sleeping in there uh, overnight uh, and during the day uh, both uh, so that she was there pretty much 24-7 with them. Do a little tongue wiggle thing there. I don't know if she's got fur in her mouth or, or just what. Uh, and it's kind of a warm day there, so they'll, they'll sit around with their mouth open and not quite panting, uh, but at least allowing for maximum cooling going across their tongue uh, so that they can cool off a little bit. Here in just a moment you're going to see her get sleepy and one interesting thing about them sleeping is that you'll notice that she raises her lower eyelid to close her eyes to go to sleep but she blinks her upper eyelid like humans do when she's just blinking her eyes. So there she's sleeping and and she's raised her lower eyelid upward uh, to cover her eye to sleep there. And as it turned out, it was a good idea to get some sleep because that was her last good night of sleep there. And here on the morning of April 8, early morning, about 6 a.m., the eggs start hatching. And they hatch a couple of them. And within about two hours here, both of the parents are in there feeding them. And they're kind of teaching them how to feed, uh, teaching the little ones, and which is basically sort of stimulate them to open a mouth and maybe squawk a little bit and, and poke something in there and see if they'll take it, see if they'll swallow it. If they don't, they'll pull it back out and put it back in and pull it back out and put it back in and whatnot and, and maybe try a different little uh, chick and see if they are more interested. And it's this, this stimulation thing that they do with them uh, to, to kind of train them on how to do it. Well, here's another egg coming. And as you can see, the way she disposes of the eggshells is that she has eggs for breakfast and she eats those eggshells uh, so kind of a, an interesting deal I've uh, read a little bit that uh, many people think they do it so they can restore the the calcium in their body that they've lost uh, through the egg laying uh, process and that sounds reasonable to me but I really don't know well by the end of the first day of hatching we had four eggs hatched and then the following day uh, one more hatched in kind of the mid-morning there and as I said earlier, ultimately the sixth egg uh, never has hatched. 
Coming up here, you're going to see a little cooperative effort on feeding where both of the parents are in there. Uh, both of them have these caterpillar worms that are all over the place uh, around here right at the moment. Uh, here in Austin, we're having kind of a plague of wet worms. And, you know, so they both get in on the feeding and looks like maybe mama's trying to uh, give daddy a little instruction on how you do this. And he's saying, look, I know what I'm doing. And maybe she's saying back, you have no idea what you're doing. You've never done this before. And he says back, neither of you. And it's kind of interesting when you think about it that you notice there's no sort of teenagers or young adults or whatever looking over anybody's shoulder here to find out how to do this. They just know how to do it. And it's weird but true. Well, there went a spider down the hatch uh, and comes back out. The baby wasn't quite ready for that. Can't say I blame him. And But they seem to do just fine with these little round-bodied, kind of blonde-colored uh, spiders, and they just wolf them on down. Coming up here is our last daily segment, which is April 11, 2021. And here you can see, if you look real close, you can see the, the little feathers are, are starting to come out. These guys hatched, most of them, uh, four out of five of them hatched three days ago. Uh, so they're three days old. And, you know, they're getting these just little bits of, of little uh, pin feathers starting to come out of their uh, uh, wings there and, and whatnot. And, and we'll pick up with another video uh, maybe in a couple of weeks here and, and show the ending after the birds have flown the coop. And here's a little bit of a scene of the trade-off of mom and dad, uh, one coming out, one going in. And here's just a last uh, couple of slow motion runs here that I thought were very nice and uh, where they really show off their stuff as they're coming in for a landing or, or taking off and heading out to find more food here. And that's it for now.